the Art of Drumming HQ episode 61, where we start a new video series covering Tesseract Beneath My Skin. Being my favourite progressive metal song to listen to these days, I ended up transcribing the entire song, and in the process discovered some unique aspects of Jamie Postone's drumming that I want to cover in this video series, which includes a great mastery of dynamic contrast in his fill-ins, his crazy fill-in orchestrations, a difficult ghosting technique he uses a lot, and crescendoing within his fill-ins, all giving him a very unique style of drumming and sound. Let's move on to today's lesson. We are going to look at the first half of the fill at the beginning of the heavy section. The first few times I heard that fill, it sounded like other set started fills, but something was different. So I thought to myself, hmm, that shouldn't be too difficult to play. Transcribed it by slowing the track down and listening attentively. Figured out the sticking, and then realized I totally underestimated this. Like this moment here. Hey there, chickens. Come on, just get up. Get up. Get up, dude. What? Anyway, what makes the feel so unique and difficult to achieve is its insane dynamic contrast. The snare notes are played soft, the toms accented, and this snare here played as a rim shot. When you play it slow, it's easy to control your stick heights and volume. But because of the speed, it's no joke. Especially this rim shot and crash combo right at the end of the flurry of six tablets. This meant you either had to play this way, where your left plays a ghost note and immediately a crash. This is very challenging because you have to cover a great distance really quickly. Watch how as I'm practicing, I miss the crash. Or you can play this way so your right hand has more time to go to the crash. This is also challenging because your left hand has to play a ghost note and a rim shot in quick succession. I chose the second sticking method because I was somewhat familiar with the ghost note to rim shot technique. I had to practice a lot of the ghost note to rim shot technique. as well as the four notes leading up to the rim shot. After three weeks of practicing, I finally managed to do it up to speed accurately enough. Now let me break down the whole section for you slowly, and then up to speed. I recorded the performance through MIDI, like all my other videos. And you can see this is the best dynamic contrast I could manage.
I definitely still have tons of practice to do, but till then, I'll just have to accept where I'm at. Otherwise, you guys will only see this video probably next year. I would also love for you to do better at this than me, so if you end up trying and practicing this, film yourself doing it and then message me about it. That's all for this episode. If you like my work, please do support me on Patreon. It will go a long way in helping me to do more of these videos. Thank you for watching. In the meantime, don't stop dreaming and don't stop drumming.